Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about basic number properties. We already learned about the identity property, comm commutative property, associative property, and di distributive property of multiplication over addition. Today we're going to be talking about the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Here we have two examples. Let's solve the first example to understand the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Okay, so 6 times 8 is 48. So now we will break. So we'll write 6 as it is. And we won't write the multiplication sign because we learned. So now we will do 8. 10 minus 2, which, did it give us 8? Yes. So now it's good. It represents 8. So that's good. Now we'll multiply 6. We'll multiply 6 and 10 and then 6 and 2. Let's do that right down here. Okay. 6 times 10, parentheses, minus sign, parentheses, 6 times 2. Okay, let's solve this. 6 times 10 is 60. And minus sign, 6 times 2 is 12. Now, if you subtract 60 and 12, you should get 48. Here, you have to regroup to subtract. Okay, if you regroup, this, there would be a 1 here, 10, which would come 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. You'll take the 6 down and write 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. Did you get 48? Yes, we got the same product as 6 times 8 equals 48. We got the right answer. So now let's move on to the second example. The second example is 4 times 90, 998. So let's multiply this because I don't remember the multiplication table of 998. So let's do that. 998 times 4. If you multiply 8 by 4, you get 32. If you multiply 9 by 4, you get 36. 36 plus 3 is 39. Multiply 9 by 4, you will also get 36. 36 plus 3, 39. So it should be, the answer should be 3,992. Okay, so now let's write four, uh, four times 998 in the distributive property. So we're going to write four in parentheses and we're going to do 1,000 minus 2. Okay, we're going to multiply 4 by 1,000. If you multiply 4 by 1,000, you should get 4,000. And then subtract 4 times 2, which give you 8. Subtract it. You, here, I'm going to see here. So if you subtract 8, 4,000 4, by 8, you would get 3,992. Oh, we got the right answer. That means we got the right product for these two problems. All right, so now let's review what we learned today. We learned about distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. And we had two examples here. And I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!